just made a discovery. I want to show that to you, and it's, I'm actually amazed that it works as well as it does. I'm doing this, this big wing here. It's the biggest piece I've ever done with the paper. You know, it's pretty time consuming to put you in those bubbles out. That's the long part of it. Um, even though you do it for just a couple minutes, you have to work fast. And I start thinking, yeah, man, a, a roller might work on this. I've, I've thought about that before on a small plane, but it was so small, was, you couldn't use a roller. And then I'm pushing it, and I thought, a small piece of hose. Now, a piece of garden hose would probably work better. But I start in the middle, and I roll it like, back and forth. I used to be a baker, so this is just natural. You, know, you do this a, a zillion times a day when you're a baker. And I'm starting in the center, and rolling the bubbles out. Put a pretty good amount of pressure on the dry paper, and then rolling it off to the ends. And it works perfectly. It's all those bubbles out, and that's going to help strength a lot. I get to the side and just roll them out the side. The only thing I got to do is curves to the contour and everything, but it doesn't get the seam all the way around the edge, which is pretty important. So I still will have to go around the edge, but boy, even the glue. And uh, just keep it dry, glue it in there, it gets it right out. See, it's just squishing out the end. That's exactly what you want. You want no excess glue and definitely no air. fiberglass, layer of paper, fiberglass, paper, fiberglass. I'm probably going to put one or two more layers of paper and fiberglass in here. But because of the shape of this, I, I know from making the little Arsenal Delaney, it's going to be very strong. And I'm going to pull it out of this mold. This is something I've, I haven't done before uh, because I think it'll dry faster if it's out of the mold. Uh, I'm sure it will. So I'm going to continue to put layers in, but first I'm going to take it out and trim it up a little bit. And I definitely would not do that on this. Uh, a flat piece because it has nothing really to give it strength. Even the wing that has, you know, the curve on the one side, it's not enough to make it keep its shape like something like this. But I did trim off the excess paper with a razor blade to make it a little bit easier to work with. Very nice. You can see. So I'm going to trim it up and continue to add uh, layers. I'm going to leave a little bit of an edge on there. And we'll dry it faster. Oh, <laughs> oh,